my name is Renata. I want to tell you about my most inspirational place in London. I was so lucky to just get here uh, from Russia to get to know this culture and just to find places like Brick Lane, Shoreditch, Hoxton. These streets and places are full of art and inspirational things. I think um, most inspirational things are graffiti, like paintings and art on the walls. They create such power which inspires me the most for my projects because I'm a photographer and I always look forward to get to know new things and art and what people think about what they're trying to express and when I look at these uh, graffitis I just, I always get stunned because I get full of new ideas, new projects and I instantly want to go out and just create new things. I believe that there is a place for everyone in the world which will be the representation of this person. I believe that Brick Lane and Shoreditch in particular are these places. They represent me, they represent my style, they represent my work. Um, I believe when I'm there I just get stunned by these works and graffitis every time. It's something which makes me alive these places, these streets, it's not just only the people, it's just the meaning of these artworks and the atmosphere and the feelings which I feel in these moments when I'm there. I'm always looking forward and I'm so happy and I'm so proud with, with, that I actually found these places and I can say that yes, this place is what I am now and what I want to be and where I want to be all every time. I found photography most uh, inspirational and most common for me because I can just show this thing through lens and inspire other people and just share my interests and ideas and what scares me in life, what I'm most um, scared about and what interests me the most. Just explore the world through the lens of a camera. This is the dark room where I develop my negatives and I create my prints. Um, I just enjoy doing different techniques and playing with the shots because it's very original in a way that film cameras are so much different from the digital cameras. You really have to think um, about every shot because you only have 36 shots in one negative. And this is where I basically spend all my time because it's a part of my life. Yeah, 
college de Lyon. Hello, my name is Angelica and uh, I was born in Moscow and uh, lived there for the first 30 years of my life. But since, uh, since I was in my uh, high school in the second year, uh, I traveled to St. Petersburg and we went to the uh, suburbs of St. Petersburg to the area where um, uh, Akhmatova lived uh, when she was retired. And this is a place on the Finnish Gulf. Uh, in the countryside and uh, when I was there I realized that I uh, I don't want to live in the city and I, uh, I wish living in the countryside and since then it has been my dream to uh, live in the countryside uh, uh, close to nature and uh, this dream came true in the uh, end of the 90s uh, we bought a plot of land 14 kilometers west of Moscow and since then, my, uh, my life has been uh, uh, closely uh, linked with this place uh, where we, we have built a house. And uh, I lived ever since uh, with my animals uh, who provide me with uh, inspiration. And uh, these are uh, my borzoi dogs and uh, my horses. At the moment, I have just one horse is he's a stallion uh, and he's of a very uh, good pedigree. He is a grandson of Weltmeier, who, who has been acknowledged as the as the best sire of uh, in Germany in uh, in his breed. He's uh, Hanoverana, and uh, uh, I live here because uh, I want to be close uh, to to nature and uh, to my animals. Russian Borzois is just a very uh, distinguished and very special breed of dogs. Uh, and uh, they were uh, bred to hunt hares and foxes uh, and wolves, in fact. And uh, this, uh, this was the breed uh, very famous with the Russian aristocracy, with the nobility. Of course, it's uh, uh, not very popular now because uh, that old uh, mode of life uh, with the countryside of the countryside life is uh, is uh, well extinct since uh, since the early uh, uh, 20th century but uh, the breed still remains and uh, there are many amateurs of this breed and I'm one among them and I, I love my borzoi dogs <laughs> I might say that we are privileged to take care of them and to provide them with uh, all the necessary conditions for their living and, and for that you are privileged just to live with these animals, uh, to, to live uh, beside them and to learn from them, uh, to, to learn being noble, being kind, being innocent, uh, being courageous towards life circumstances. So I think that all the good things that I know, I, I've learned more from my animal, uh, animals than I've learned from, uh, from people. I think we've got a lot to learn from them and we've got a lot, uh, a lot to, uh, to admire and uh, uh, to bring inspiration into our lives.
Hi, my name is Aliona and I want you to tell about my inspirational place. This is in Eastbourne in England, on the south of England. And my, the first time I went there was eight years ago, as I remember. And I came there to study English, just to improve my, my language, did some activities and stuff. So, um, and I was really young at that time. I didn't realise it was something special. I just thought I would go there for fun, you know, to, uh, to a new country, which I've never been before. So it was the first, it was the first pl place in England I went to. Um, and everything was different. Um, the weather, the people, and the nature. And my favourite place in Eastbourne is the Beachy Head. It's a lovely place. It's by the sea and um, the wind there is crazy. When I come there now, the wind is kind of like blowing my some thoughts away, like some negative thoughts and, and um, something that worries me is just leaving me at the second at the very second I come to Beachy Head. Um, I love to sit there and look at the sea, look at the sky and, and this lighthouse. I believe that many people have their own inspirational place and when I come to Eastbourne I feel, I feel really united with the city and despite the fact that it's really small and maybe someone can think it's so usual I, I, I can feel the energies, I can feel the rush of energy when I come there. When I'm there, um, I'm alone, but at the same time, I'm kind of united with the, with the nature, with the people there, with all the animals, like, but I mean the birds, like seagulls. I think it takes a while to find a place which is, which is yours, which, is, which gives you inspiration. And I'm really lucky I found it. I found it when I was young. And whenever I, whenever I live, I will still come and visit Eastbourne if I have a chance.